Last year I was working on a project in the Galapagos Islands, very much the epicentre of the global environmental discussion. I was out there with my family and during a break in the project I glanced down and my little girl was gone. She would completely vanished and I did what any parent would do. We were in the middle of nowhere and I ran to the top of a sand dune and looked at the wide sweep of white sand of the Pacific beach we were next to. And there she was, this tiny elemental scrap of nothing, completely lost in the elements, just twisting and turning and dancing on the beach. And it was a very poignant image for me. There we were in a World Heritage site and I was looking at the next generation. I was looking at someone being completely in the moment, unfettered by the worries of what had gone before and what was to come. And I thought it was quite a powerful message for the extraordinary times that we live in today. And there's a wonderful poem about the next generation, about young people, and particularly about young women. It says, never be a princess when you can be a queen. Swing the scepter, wear the crown, dominate the scene. Don't wear crystal slippers, they'll shatter on your feet. Be happy in your own skin and then you'll be complete. Be a barefoot Amazon. Be young, be wild, be free. And never grow a wishbone daughter where your backbone ought to be. I'm Monty Halls and for decades I've been working with organisations large and small, both nationally and internationally, to explore culture and ethos during difficult times. Although each presentation and each interaction with those organisations is tailored to their precise needs after considerable research, there are certain themes that continually emerge. The presentation and discussion is drawn from real examples of organisations and individuals operating under genuine stress. These might be elite sports teams, blue chip companies operating in fluctuating markets, wildlife film crews having to make split second decisions as they interact with the natural world. Or more poignantly, it might reach back into our recent history and look at the ultimate example of stress and the ultimate example of testing your values of individuals operating in war-torn nations. If I had to describe the presentation in a nutshell, I'd say it's life-affirming and it's energising because it shows that again and again with the right character, the right culture, the right values and the right leadership, organisations, teams and individuals can prevail in pretty much any set of circumstances.